I'm laughing my ass off. Let me see, where is it? You see, somebody, somebody must have left their hat and then somebody hung it up on this tree here. And he has lost his mind at this hat. <laughs> it's going to get you. It's, gonna... <laughs> it's just a hat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I get closer? Yeah. It's just a hat. It's not going to do anything to you. You feel better now? He was jumping up and down like a Mexican jumping bean. He was freaking out. No, we're not going to put it in our mouth. Let's go. Come on. You're going to pee on. He's going to pee on the spot. Right? No, we're good. Okay, let's go. All right, all right. Game five. Tampa, Colorado. This begins the possible beginning of the end. It's been an incredibly beautifully long season. Well over 300 videos if you combine everything this season. And it might be all over tonight with the exception of obviously the review in the morning. So before we even get to the end, I'll say thank you for all the support this year. But I'll save any big thank yous and good nights until, until the possibility that Colorado wins this thing tonight. However, Tampa Bay has won two in a row for a reason. So even though I'm picking 3-2 Colorado, that's probably not good news for the Avalanche fans. We'll just put it that way. All right, so what do we got? We've got pressure and experience versus pressure and inexperience. So what do I mean? Tampa Bay obviously has plenty of experience in cups and closing things out and avoiding getting closed out. While Colorado, obviously we know their history before this game or before this series. They haven't had to close out a cup yet. Not not this, not this roster, not this team. That's the hardest game to win is the fourth one. You know Tampa's going to come out ridiculously on fire. How much gas do they have in the tank, though? How, much, how many miles per gallon are they getting? They may show up with a full tank, but uh, it certainly seemed like in the last game, by the start of the third period, they'd run out of gas. Meanwhile, Colorado, just do your thing, man. Colorado just keeps coming in waves, just coming in waves. They, they, they overwhelm Tampa, exhaust Tampa with the speed. Now, what is the difference? What is, what is the difference maker here? They're in goalie. They're in net. Kemper, Vasilevsky. Now, we know that Vasilevsky is completely possible, completely capable. I can't talk tonight. He's completely capable of turning into a brick wall and stealing a game. Can he steal three? Nah. <sighs> I'm not so sure about that. Kemper has never been in anything remotely close to this level of pressure before, so we're about to find out what he's made of. Colorado's got to get off to a good start. Tampa gets one. Tampa gets two. It, it, it could get it could get reversed, and this is where Colorado needs to win the series here tonight. This is Game Five. You are at home. If somehow you do the unspeakable and allow Tampa to steal this game. Now, Tampa goes back home to Game 6, where you know they're going to be confident, and Game 7 would be in Colorado with Tampa having the confidence that they already stole one in Colorado, so they know they, that they can do it. Colorado needs to win this game. All right? They, I, I, I cannot count Tampa out until they just are done, dead, and buried. Colorado needs to take care of that tonight because if they open up that door just a little bit, Tampa's a championship team. You don't open up the door. They have the door slammed in their face. All the Avalanche have to do tonight is lock the bolt. Do not crack that door open. You know, you know who's on the other side. Get it done tonight, Avalanche, or be a lot of questions start creeping up. All right. We don't want this to end. I'm not ready for it to end, but I have a feeling it's going to end. 3-2 Avalanche is the call. Let's see what happens. Well, interesting, interesting first period. 
the first 10 minutes of play, I, I thought for sure Colorado was just a matter of time. They seemed to be outpacing and outracing Tampa, but a couple of power plays for Tampa brought nothing. Colorado had a power play, got nothing out of it. And then next thing you know, there's the goaltending difference. There's the goaltending difference. Kemper gives up a goal that you cannot give up if you want to win a Stanley Cup. Now, I said that last game where he gave up one that wasn't a great goal and Colorado came back and won in overtime. So, obviously, the game is not over. But it is one nothing Tampa. And it's a little bit of pressure on Colorado if Tampa makes it 2 nothing. That's Andre Vasilevsky there back there in net. You see what I'm saying? One is 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 one thing. Two. Colorado. Tampa came to play. They ain't laying down. They know the cup is there. They can smell it. Alright? They could they can smell the cup in the building. They know what it smells like. You guys don't. Get this sucker evened out. Tampa is not gonna be playing around. Alright, well, 2-1 Tampa. Now, that's pretty much where we were last game, right? And then Colorado came out in the third period and was clearly the better team. And the dryer just turned on by itself. We must have had a power flash. That's interesting. Alright, so, had a little, bit of, a little bit of activity with the referees there. Okay, so, what happens? Now, I didn't... I'm, I'm asking for opinions here. The Nikushkin goal. They won the faceoff in the zone after icing. Paul was complaining about the icing, and the, uh, the broadcast showed that the puck was tipped by a Tampa Bay player before center ice, which means it's icing, with the exception of the fact that from what I saw of the replay, it looked like Paul was way ahead of all of the Avalanche players, and I think that's why he was complaining about the icing. Of course, ESPN never went back to it and didn't show us that end of the replay, which kind of makes me wonder and think if they know that the refs made a mistake there. The other part I can thank ESPN for is I have no idea what the shots on goal are. Has anybody seen the shot clock at all tonight? I mean, every time I've looked for it, I haven't seen it. How hard is it, ESPN? Does it cost money? Do you got to rent extra space? It's a fucking shot clock. It's the NHL Finals. And I don't care if you took the S off. It's the fucking Finals. Avalanche, don't blow this game. Don't, I'm telling you. All right? I, 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 I warned the Leaf fans not to take it easy and, and get all happy. When Toronto was ahead, I warned the Ranger fans, ah, I don't care, it's two games or nothing, don't can't tap out. I'm telling you, do not blow this game to this team, Colorado. Let's move on to the third period with the fourth period and the fifth period. And somebody on the stream actually predicted, in a jokingly way, predicted triple overtime. We might be here a while. So at the end of the last game, um, yeah, why, 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 why? At the end of the last game, after overtime, my dumbass says, if Tampa comes back and wins in Colorado, I'll do the recap nude. This is as close to nude as I'm getting. <laughs> And I had forgotten about it, conveniently, but oh boy, yeah, they reminded me on the stream. I never hear the end of it, so for those of you who are not enjoying the view, my apologies. Tampa won't die. I told you, I've to I've, they're not going to just up and die. Now, I know I'm not saying I told you tonight. Obviously, I thought Colorado had this. I don't know how Tampa won that game. It looked like it was going exactly like Game 4. Tampa was slowly running out of gas. Colorado was starting to take it to them. But, what did I say at the beginning of the series? What did I say at the beginning of this video? Goaltending. Goaltending. 
Kemper's a nice goalie. He's played out of his mind for him this series. But he's let in a couple of goals that you won't see a Stanley Cup winning goalie let in. Not on the night when you're going to clinch. I'm trying to clinch. Not going to happen. Didn't happen. And now, now we go back. We go back to Tampa. And Tampa sure as hell knows they can win in Tampa. And now they know they can win in Colorado. This is, this is, uh, this is not over, Avalanche fans. I think somebody said on the stream that they looked it up. And this is what somebody said. So if this is wrong information, I, I apologize. But... One of my puppets has fallen. <laughs> Said, uh, been since 1942 that a team has come back from a 3-1 deficit in the finals. Now, I know Avalanche fans are going to say, you know, he's proven you can win in Tampa, and, and that much is true. That much is true. But you're not going to win with Darcy Kemper letting in, I'm not going to call them softies, but you can't win you're not going to beat Tampa letting in goals like that. You have to be better. You have to be better than pretty darn good to beat this team. And right now, Colorado played pretty darn good, but Tampa just finds a way. Palat, with about six minutes left, and uh, mm, I'm happy. We get more hockey. Stu and I will be back in the morning, tomorrow morning, the stream, one hour before the game on Sunday. We kind of thought it was over. We kind of said our goodbyes and everything a little bit today. And uh, we're coming back. That's a beautiful thing. I, I love it. I love it. That said, Avalanche fans, take Saturday off. Mentally, emotionally, go fishing, go skiing, go to a strawberry festival, do something. Get out of the house. Don't look at social media. Don't go to the bar and talk to the game about your with, with your friends. Just just go do something else. Take your mind off of hockey. Because energetically, this team is going to need all the help it can get come Sunday in Tampa. Because that place is going to be rocking. It was rocking in Colorado tonight. Fans absolutely did their job. Colorado ties the score, beginning of the third period, you're thinking, here we go. Crowd is just obnoxiously loud. I love it. Beautiful. Somehow they couldn't pull it off. And then, <laughs> and then the too many men. <laughs> then the too many men penalty. Now, now they call the too many men penalty. There were seven guys on the ice, though. I mean, you have to call it. You have to call it in that situation. But it's just it's kind of ironic. It's kind of funny. All right, I'm going to put my clothes back on. So that's the end of this video. <laughs> Stu and I will be back in the morning. I'm a man of my word. I said I was going to do it. I would have said I forgot. But since I was reminded of what I said, I will, I will follow through on what I said if reminded. If not, I might accidentally, maliciously, on purpose forget. Tampa wins. 3-2. They're not dead. They're not going to just up and die, Colorado. You're going to have to play better than you have any, any of these other games in the series if you want that cup. I told you. Tampa knows what it smells like. You guys don't know what it smells like yet. You got to sniff it. You got to drink from it. They know how to go get it. You better watch out. They're going to take it from you. I'll see you tomorrow.